In this category, you will learn how to use the correct techniques when using rhythmic pressure or rhythmic energy to teach your horse to yield away from the pressure. Rhythmic pressure is just another way of communicating to your horse using rhythm in a body part such as your arm or using rhythm in your communication stick or putting rhythm, rhythmic energy down the lead rope to communicate with your horse. There are lots of different types of rhythmic pressure yields you can teach your horse. The goal is to teach your horse to be light and responsive to your communication and also stay engaged and relaxed with all your interactions. When you apply rhythmic pressure, it's really important that you maintain a consistent rhythm in your body or the tool that you are using. Think of bouncing a basketball. The rhythm doesn't change. However, you can bounce the ball soft or hard. When you communicate with your horse using rhythmic pressure, it's important that you start with a really soft pressure. If your horse doesn't respond, you can then increase it to a medium pressure. And if your horse still doesn't respond, increase the pressure to an effective pressure. Then the moment your horse responds, instantly release the pressure to reward the correct response. Some horses are really sensitive, so it won't take much at all to get them to yield away from the rhythmic pressure. However, if you have a horse that is more dull and ignores the pressure when you increase it to effective pressure, it's important that you think about getting bigger and creating more energy in your communication stick or your body rather than getting harder. When you are working with your horse on the ground, you will do most of the communication from a distance. Therefore, you'll be using rhythmic pressure most of the time. You will only use steady pressure when standing close enough to touch your horse. However, when you are riding, you will use steady pressure more than rhythmic pressure. As you use your reins and leg contact to communicate with your horse. As you can see, teaching your horse to learn the correct response to yield away from rhythmic pressure is really important. I hope you enjoyed teaching your horse how to yield away from rhythmic pressure. Remember to reward your horse's positive response to your communication cue for each rhythmic pressure yield.